Hey and welcome again. Today, we'll tell you a story about a dying owl, rescued by a man, and she gave him an unexpected gift in return. If you're new to this channel, subscribe to this channel and check the playlist to watch more real stories. Gigi, a great horned owl, was brought to Wild at Heart Rescue, a wildlife rehabilitation center in Van Cleve, Mississippi, with a massive head trauma back in May. She was in such bad condition that she wasn't expected to make it. Luckily though, Douglas Pojeki, president of the center, stepped in to care for Gigi. Pojeki was equally moved by the experience. I've never had a bird fly to me like that before, he said. It was a moment that I will always treasure. Gigi first arrived at Mississippi's Wild at Heart Rescue toward the end of May, after suffering significant head trauma which the rescue suspects was the result of being hit by a car. She had a massive concussion, her body was riddled with parasites, and she had a condition called aspergillosis, similar to pneumonia in humans. Missy Dubuisson, founder and director of Wild at Heart, told the Dodo. The recovery process had not been easy. Gigi still had ongoing treatments, but Pojeki was always there, keeping her company, watching over and providing her with the care she needed. Gigi was so ill that during the course of her treatment, she lost an entire pound of weight, which was a lot, considering great horned owls typically weigh anywhere from 2 to 5 pounds. This bird was one of the most critical they have ever taken care of but the fact that this bird has lived is beyond comprehension. And eventually, after several months of treatment, Gigi was finally ready to be released back into the wild. One day, as Pojeki was conducting a routine check on Gigi, she flew out of her cage and landed on his shoulder, completely on her own. It was a moment that left everyone at the rescue in awe. Not only was it clear that Gigi had made a full recovery, but it was also evident that she had formed a special bond with Pojeki. It was a true testament to the bond between bird and human, this bird had never flown before, and she flew to him. It was a moment we will never forget. Pojeki felt a mix of emotions, he was thrilled to see her fly free again, but at the same time, the bond he had formed with her was hard to let go. He watched as she flew into the night sky. She hovered for a moment, then she looked back at him, making a sound that Pojeki would never forget. For Pojeki, it was a bittersweet moment, but he knew that this was exactly where Gigi belonged, free in the wild, where she could be her true self. And even though she was gone, the time he spent with her would stay with him forever. Pojeki knew that the bond they shared was one that would last a lifetime. Years went by, and Pojeki never forgot about Gigi. He always hoped he would cross paths with her again. And one night, as Pojeki left the rescue, a rustling in the bushes caught his attention. He turned around to find a great horned owl, staring back at him. It was Gigi, she had come back to visit her savior. Pojeki was overjoyed, he knew she remembered him, and their bond was still strong. Pojeki had been on a trip to Michigan, visiting family, leaving Gigi without his company for a while. After Pojeki returned, he gave Gigi an examination, and she immediately started bobbing her head and dancing on his arm. Then, she slowly walked up to his chest, rested her head on his shoulder, and draped her wings around him in a fully-fledged, owl hug. Gigi had come back to visit Pojeki, she would come and go, but every time she would come back, it was like she never left. She had become an honorary member of the rescue. She would come and visit Pojeki and other birds of prey under the rescue's care. Pojeki told the dodo that being hugged by Gigi held particularly special importance to him. Growing up, a great horned owl used to perch on the top of Pojeki's family barn. While Pojeki's father often saw the owl, Pojeki and the rest of his family rarely did. However, on the morning of his father's death, the owl was spotted overlooking the farmhouse, where Pojeki's father had passed away, before flying off into the woods. Gigi's story had a happy ending, thanks to Pojeki's kindness and dedication. She had been given a second chance at life, and the bond between her and Pojeki was a reminder of the powerful connection that could be formed between animals and humans. 
Gigi, a great horned owl, was completely alone until she met the one man she'd never forget. But if there was anyone at the rescue who could help Gigi get back in good health, it would be Douglas Doug Pojeki, president of the rescue and affectionately known as the Birds of Prey Whisperer. In all my years of working with Birds of Prey, I have never seen someone with such a bond with these magnificent birds, Dubuisson said. Under Pojeki's care, Gigi went from knocking at death's door, to perching, Dubuisson said. She also went from being hand-fed to grabbing food on her own. Gigi had undoubtedly come to trust and care for Pojeki, and she made it known just how much in the most surprising way. The look of pure contentment on her face just before she embraced Pojeki showed how happy she was to be reunited with her favorite human. For some reason, when that bird was hugging me, all I could think of was my dad, Pojeki said. Once Gigi fully recovers, she'll be released back into the wild. But in the meantime, she has Pojeki to lean on. Watching him interact with these birds brings tears to his eyes. They absolutely know him and trust him. It's the trust that you see in her face. If you liked today's video, please hit the like button and share this story with others. Also, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified when the next story goes live. See you again.